Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Today we're going to do um, how your person is feeling about you. I'm going to go through each sign, Aries all the way through Pisces. We're going to start with Aries. So if you're connecting with one of these signs, we'll go down the line and see how they're feeling about you, what their energy is towards you, and what they're doing at this time. Okay, so again, please smash that like and like button and subscribe. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So already for Aries, if you're connecting with an Aries, we've got the Emperors here. So let's take a look here and see. I feel like this person sees you as someone who is pretty much in control and uh, really leveled up, high energy, know what you're doing in life, um, taking the lead in your life, that kind of energy. Um, wow, this... Th Virgo, this person is like really impressed with you. I have to say this. This Aries is super, super impressed with you. They look at you. They want to... It's, it's almost like they want to emulate you in some way. Um, maybe even a little intimidated by you. Um, they also want to have a conversation with your father. They, they want to... Something about talking to your father or your, or your brother or someone who's important to you. They also think that maybe you have someone in your life who... Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm just hearing it. They, they feel like this person is better than them or that you might be connecting with someone who they feel is better than they are. They want to kind of be like that. Wow, we've got the lovers here. So yeah, Virgo. Um, and I also feel like this person wants to level up to try to be better for you. Okay, this Aries. Um, they definitely love you. There's definitely deep feelings that this Aries has for you, Virgo. And... Mm, I just kind of feel like they, they know what you need. They know they know the kind of person you need them to be, to be in a relationship, and they're taking a look at that for sure um, at this time, okay? Let's move on to Taurus. So if you're connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, let's take a look and see what the Taurus's energy is here towards you, what their feelings are for you. Okay. Mm hmm. Well, Taurus feels like you have just destroyed them. <laughs> they feel it's so crazy because that's the Taurus card. The first card was Aries card. What's going on? Taurus feels devastated. Um, they feel like you ended this relationship. You really uh, broke the mold here. Um, they, I just see them like being in complete ruin about a relationship, Virgo, that you were in with them. Let me see. They feel like you destroyed the relationship or you cut it off or you just said that's it, you're done. You you know, you threw a spike in the ground and just kind of were like, nope, that's it. Not going forward with that. Yeah, and that you moved on. So I feel like Taurus is they're really trying to get themselves back into um a good place because of something that's ended. Um, whether they ended it or you ended it, like this person is just in complete ruin. And I feel like they're trying to get themselves in like, I don't know, uh, they're kind of moving away here to, to kind of gain ground and get stable and get more comfortable. Um, I do feel like this, this Taurus looked at you like, you know, the Empress and we first had the Emperor. That's crazy. could have been, um, dealing with someone who was on the cusp of Aries Taurus also like around April 19th or the 20th or something around that time but I feel like this person yeah Taurus is like pretty much devastated if you ended something I see them just kind of moving forward moving on um it just feels like they're they're trying to get out of like either they're relocating or moving. Maybe you kicked them out or, you know, you told them you didn't want to live with them or you moved out and um, they see you pulling away. They see you moving away to get in a better place. And um, yeah, I just feel like they're like completely devastated either because you didn't come back or you ended a relationship or they ended it and you just said, okay, you're moving on. This person, Taurus is not in a good place right now. Not in a good place. Okay, let's move next to Gemini. What's Gemini's energy towards Virgo? How they're feeling, what their energy is towards Virgo at this time. Virgo and Gemini. <coughs> oh, okay. All right, 
Virgo, Gemini sees you, Virgo, it's like you're no longer trying. You've left the scene of the crime. They are completely heartbroken. Um, I, I, but I feel, Virgo, like Gemini still... They're walking into heartbreak here. They know. I kind of feel like they, they like they're moving forward in their life, but they're looking back at you still. Like they're. It's almost like, are you going to give your love to somebody else? It, it actually kind of feels like the reverse. Now they're saying, with that Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Virgo. I I just kind of feel like they look at you as like maybe you're stubborn or you don't want to work on this or. Um, and I feel like they want to, but if they have to walk and move away and start over in their life without you, it's going to be heartbreaking, heartbreaking for them. But I kind of feel like they don't want to give up. They don't want to... Gemini does not want to completely end this relationship. They don't. Their feet are, their feet are moving forward, but they're, they're still looking back in the rearview mirror and just wondering... Um, all right, will you give them another chance? So I, I don't know if this person is actually going to come forward, but I do feel like this is like, do I, do I try to talk to Virgo and, and see if maybe they will just hear me out or listen to what I have to say, or should I just keep and keep moving forward and just let it end? And, you know, I, they don't want to have any arguments. They want to try to work things out with you. Otherwise, like there's two alternatives here for Gemini. Gemini just is like, okay, I'm going to walk in a heartbreak and, you know this whole thing's gonna end if if virgo has somebody else like i can't give up virgo and i don't want to give up virgo but i feel like gemini's in this like right on the fence here you know what i mean and it, it's obviously not a call for you to like oh it's not a threat or a warning it's just gemini is kind of like right on the fence like they're walking into their new life here and they and they know it's going to be painful to let you go but they also feel like you're you're not really willing to give them a chance <clears throat> they're hoping that you will but they keep looking back in the rear like they can't forget you they don't want to forget you they know it's going to be heartbreaking and it's going to hurt if there's a divorce or separation or if you guys go your separate ways but for some reason they just feel like you are with that like you're stubborn like you're not budging with them they think you won't budge or that you won't give them a chance or talk to them and maybe you won't virgo that's up to you um, but they're seeing it they're seeing it that that it's almost it's getting to the point where they feel like it's it might even be hopeless at this point but there, i feel like there is just one more try they're telling me gemini wants to try one more time <coughs> excuse me okay so cancer how is cancer feeling about virgo okay so they have some stuff they want to tell you they want to talk to you they want to bring some truth and some clarity. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Virgo, if you're connecting with a Cancer, Cancer really wants to communicate and tell you some stuff. They're like this opening up, um, revealing some things to you about this. Uh, wow, this Five of Pentacles. Um, okay, they're just saying Cancer is like very heavily dependent on you, either financially or they, they need you. They need you. And I feel like they're going to open up and give you clarity about that. Um, they So they're just saying it's very simple in a nutshell. Cancer feels like they can't, they, they need you in their life. They, they can't really move forward. They're, they're going to struggle without you is what I'm hearing. And I feel like there may be a conversation or there's something that they tell you somewhere along the lines. Like, without you, I'm nothing. Or... Um, they come to terms with this they realize this that you know you guys like it was better two or better than one um i feel like there's also some truth about maybe they lean on they they were leaning on you too too much and they needed to get themselves together and straighten themselves out and become more independent yeah because that five of pentacles yeah it just i don't know it just kind of feels like this person's really really worried um, they don't want to be alone. They they just don't want to be alone. I feel like they like they don't want to be without you is how I feel. And I feel like Cancer is going to try to open up some dialogue and open up with this judgment card to reveal like what's really going on with them. Um, that they struggle. They're, they struggle. They, they feel like 
if they don't have you in their life. I, like, I don't feel like cancer feels like they can't live their life, you know? And But I, there's something about you, Virgo, that they need. And it really just comes down to them telling you they need you. You give to them. You help them. You do something for them that they can't even imagine being able to do on their own. The, cancer is very um, codependent, very, but, but not in a very manipulative way. I, I want to. I don't want to say that. I, not codependent, dependent, um, very dependent. Um, and if they had some financial dependence on you before, I feel like they're going to tell you that um, they are looking, taking a look at this here that. Um, they need to be learning how to provide for themselves to be more in a contribution aspect to contribute more to the relationship instead of leaning on you or taking um, too much from you or relying too much on you to you know lead the way so there, there's a bit of like a revelation happening here with cancer towards you Virgo I feel like if you're in separation with this person there's like some aha moments coming to them like wow I, I realize that you know I I leaned on you too much and I maybe even had this like negative mindset poverty mindset about the relationship and I feel like they want to contribute now in a positive way okay and um, it's a true crystal clear communication um, but they still need your support. That's what I. That's what I hear. Um, they need your support. I just want to get one more card here for this. How Cancer feels about Virgo. What they want to say. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, Virgo, it just feels to me like Cancer wants to try to do the right thing by you. They want to do right by you. They want to do right with you. Um, this is fairness. This is balance. I feel like Cancer was just taking, like, leaning too heavily on you in the past or creating some kind of dynamic where um, you were contributing almost all of everything and they were only contributing a small percentage and relying on you to lead the way or take care of everything, which in some regards, Virgo always knows best, but I think in this situation here, um, they, they felt they want to play a role. They want to take part, okay? And justice is also in regards to legal or financial issues that sits on the Five of Pentacles. So if there's a financial thing going on here where cancer was taking up too much or... Um, you were doing everything financially and um, I feel like there I see this person communicating with you even like um, paying it's just about paying their their share uh, paying you or giving you money or contributing financially and not leaning too heavily on you okay um, so this seems more like a financial thing going on here with cancer and uh, in the partnership in the relationship okay virgo if you're connecting with a leo let's see okay well let's see has leo got you blocked or they think you blocked them this person wants healing they want to renew this connection leo what else is going on with leo towards virgo if you're dealing with a leo Okay, King of Wands here. Yeah, so Virgo, it feels like, um, well, Leo wants you to unblock them. <laughs> they, they want you to unblock them. They don't want you to ignore them. They feel like you're ignoring them or you're just kind of like you've made a decision um, about this relationship. It feels mostly like a blocking though. Like you're not talking to this person. You're not communicating with them. And with the star, I feel like this person is like really, really hoping that they're waiting. They're sitting there waiting for you to unblock them or for you to make a way for them to communicate to you. Or even if you don't have them in, on, uh, even if you don't have them blocked per se, like on your phone or something like that, uh, they're kind of waiting for you to um, also make a decision. 
they, they, I feel like they're, they're very hopeful and, and, and waiting and hopeful that you will, um, uh, decide to try to work on this relationship with them or open yourself up to them. I feel like they see you as trying to figure out what you want to do. Um, they're hoping that you're going to make some a compromise with them and try to sort something out here. Um, come to some kind of creative solution <clears throat> in regards to whatever you both were uh, struggling with, some kind of issue you're struggling with, whether it's the relationship or you were in disagreement of some sort. They're very hopeful that, <clears throat> sorry, they're very hopeful that you will um, figure out what it is that you want or what it is that you need from them. Um, they're basic. They're, they have faith. They do. That this person, Leo. I mean, I feel like they're really focused on you right now, Virgo. They definitely see you as like a, a bright and shining star. You know, in their life, there's there's you know something about you that glows. So whatever this decision is that needs to be made, they may have prompted you with something. Um, or you have, maybe you they, you made a decision to end a relationship or you're just not communicating with them. They're, they're wait, they're hopeful that you will talk to them again. They want you to talk to them and, and give them some kind of answer to something. Or try to have some type of renewal in this relationship or heal the partnership. I just can't believe it. Yeah, there's the lovers. So... I mean, Virgo, this person, it's about the relationship. Like, they want to come into union, they, but they're waiting for you to decide um, or to unblock them, to, to carve a path or create a way for them to communicate with you or, you know, th or they're waiting for you to come back to them too is what I'm hearing. To make that decision, they're hoping that you will decide that you two can come back together. They're, they really want that. Okay. But they can't, you know... The King of Wands is, is a mover and a shaker, but the King of Wands, you know, by nature is a mover and a shaker, but the King of Wands is just sitting there. They can't do anything. They're ready. Um, the minute they get the call or the minute they hear from you, they're, they're, they're like, they're, you know, they're ready. They're in a position. The stance is ready, um, but they're not going to um, pursue and chase after you because they don't want, they want to give you the time and the space that you need to um, kind of intuit and figure out what it is that you want. Or what you want to do. They're hope they're hoping you're going to I'm just hearing choose them. They're hoping you're going to come back. Or that you're going to work things out with them. Okay. Virgo, if you're connecting with another Virgo. Okay. So you've got the chariot. How is Virgo's Virgo feeling or thinking about them? Okay. Hmm. I feel like this um the Virgo you're dealing with. Um, they have a little crush on you, Virgo, for sure. Okay, King of Swords. Um, so I feel like this person wants to, um, but they're, you know, their emotions, like they're not, they don't, they don't wear their emotions on their sleeve. They have a little bit of like, um, th this Virgo has a little bit of like a childhood, they're smitten, definitely. Um, they want to take a trip with you, and I feel like they want to communicate that to you, but keep it very nonchalant. There's nothing romantic here at all, but I feel like this Virgo is, um, I'm hearing, um, ready to make change. Your Virgo is showing up with the King of Swords, okay? So they're showing up as someone who's very strategic and very intentional um, with you. So I feel like this, this other Virgo is not someone who just minces words. I feel like what they say, they mean what they say, and they say what they mean. But there's something here about the chariot. I, 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 it feels mostly like this Virgo is ready to make some change, to take some action and make some change. Um, because they have these, this like, uh, ooh, these, these feelings for you. Like, just, they're very enthusiastic about you. Let me see. There's something here. Let me see. Okay. So the moon showed up in the reverse so this is like clarity here i think virgo if you're connecting with another virgo there's just this other virgo in your life whatever i feel like this virgo is um with that moon reversed i mean they're like coming out of their like secret cave their secret back cave or you know uh this is like the truth being revealed this person this virgo has received some type of messages in their dreams about you 
as well. Maybe there was some type of dream that they had about you where you two were together and it was very romantic and it kind of like there was a residual in the rest of their day um, when they think about you or when they see you. And I feel like they, they want to talk to you, definitely, but they're, they're reaching out to you with this very flirtatious kind of energy. But the, the thing behind it all is that they're, they're like, they get the clarity. They're, they're ready to make a move here with the chariot. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, this, take this journey with you, I'm hearing. Wherever that leads to go, I'm hearing, I want to go with you, Virgo. Okay, interesting. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to Libra. If you're dealing with a Libra, if you're a Virgo, you have a connection with a Libra. Let's see how Libra is feeling or what they're thinking about you. Just flew right out pretty quickly. Hmm. You guys are in some kind of temporary separation or you're just not communicating right now. Um, uh, so Virgo, I feel like Libra wants to make a love offer here or propose to you. They're coming in with truth. I feel like, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like um, the Libra is going to tell you that they've gotten rid of those other people I'm hearing. Um, it, it, there's some kind of separation between the two of you and during this time period. Um, the Libra has, if they were um, connecting with others uh, or dating other people or in some kind of maybe even just flirting with other people or whatever was going on, um, not good intentions. I feel like um, I feel like this the Libra wants to make a bona fide love offer to you, like a proposal of marriage or commitment or, you know, uh, bring their love to you um but also with the truth behind it to tell you that they're not they're not connecting with those people anymore and they've cut them all off okay they've cut them all off um they don't want anything to do with them anymore whether they're people they were dating or uh thoughts in their head negative thoughts or people like whispering in their ear or friends or family um or whomever I, I, it feels to me like libra has always loved you and they've always felt these deep feelings for you. And I feel like this this Eight of Cups is, you know, there, there's some kind of temporary separation between the two of you. I feel like there's a retreat this Libra needed to go deal with their business. And I feel like they're um, definitely going to be returning at some point with this Knight of Cups for you. But also to give you the truth that, you know, the obstacles that you guys are feeling or experiencing in the relationship was caused by them, not by you. They were the one who was bringing other people into the relationship, having other people, third parties, fourth parties, fifth parties, whichever, being involved. And I feel like even in a romantic sense, you know, this person here, this this five of swords um, is like this person here stands here with these three swords. You know, they're, they're breaking hearts. They've made a decision with the two of swords here to tell those other people to go. They don't want anything to do with them. You are their love. You are their love. Um, at some point, I do feel like they are going to come forward this Knight of Cups. But I feel like right now, um, like they, they're very intentional. They know what they're doing. And they're not, they haven't come forward yet. Um, while you guys are not... Um, in this connection at this time or really having much communication i feel like it's because um this person needed to withdraw from your relationship to finish their business elsewhere they cut like you know let the dust settle finish their, their business first so that they can come forward so they will be coming forward virgo possibly in may with this love offer okay you and this libra all right and move on to Virgo and Scorpio and see what Scorpio's energy is towards Virgo, how they're feeling. Okay, Virgo and Scorpio. Okay. Okay. Well, Scorpio definitely has you on their mind, Virgo. Let me see what's going on here. Oh. oh my goodness okay some of you might be on the cusp with leo virgo um uh virgo it looks to me like scorpio 
if it's not i mean i will definitely say scorpio is in hermit mode right now and they are kind of reflecting um about you and about the relationship really kind of on their own thinking about you um but there's also could be an, a second person involved in this where they are kind of considering it might be <clears throat> are they interested who who they who they should choose there might be like a choice um between you and another person okay so let me give you a couple of messages here so if you're on the cusp here of leo virgo um scorpio is definitely considering and, and gone within self-reflecting searching for truth um doing a lot of heavy duty thinking okay wow these two similar cards okay um all right so right now scorpio is kind of in this place right now virgo where um do they walk away and just keep moving on or do they come back and make that love offer that proposal to you scorpio is in hermit mode right now there's no communication scorpio is not talking um what's on their mind is this there's something to do with abandonment what's on their mind is um they're they're definitely retreating they've withdrawn um and they're on some kind of journey here to figure out um either who which one they want to make a love offer to proposal like for lifetime um so if it, it could be um a fire sign or it could be you or it's just in general for you okay now let me just kind of pick this apart a little bit because we do have two court cards so for you virgo okay king of swords and for the fire sign okay hmm scorpio is in a bit of a conundrum here um okay so the fire sign is either is is having trouble at home or trouble in a, in a marriage or relationship the fire sign is either in, in a broken marriage um there's something going on with this fire sign things are not good okay leo aries or sagittarius this fire sign is kind of okay scorpio all right this is complicated my of course because it's a scorpio <laughs> reading uh scorpio um okay scorpio is wondering if the fire sign is going to leave their marriage for them which is odd i, I don't want to get too, too deep in this and also um scorpio thinks that you virgo um might have a new beginning with somebody else the, scorpio is very confused <laughs> about what to do scorpio is kind of teetering here um even in general about whether you if you're with somebody else if you're going if you're really moving forward with someone else and you don't want them back that the scorpio just, just does not know what to do and they're not taking any action at this time except to just withdraw and try to figure out you know if they want to make a make this like make an offer to you if they want to come back and make an offer to you or if they should move on they're, they're, they they just don't know what to do and i feel like scorpio is just trying to figure that out um, if they should go with somebody else or it, it, it's like i feel like scorpio is kind of like they're taking their own sweet time i feel like scorpio is like kind of making their decision somewhat based on what you are doing and somewhat based on what maybe you and another person are doing they're very conflicted i can tell you right now they're very conflicted about you and their love life and they're trying to gain some <laughs> clarity about that and they're taking their time i i listen i Virgo, I don't know that if Scorpio is going to come back and make this love offer to you, it's going to be, um, they're taking their sweet time. It's going to be a little while. Okay. Uh, but the Eight of Cups is a card of um, a temporary separation. I do feel like there is going to be some type of offer that will come to you, but they have to get that clarity first because they don't, uh, they don't, I don't know if they don't trust themselves or they're, they're seeking that inner guidance. Okay, so so really, apart from everything that's going on with you in general, or just you and another person, they're trying to come to their truth about what they want, about where their heart rests, where their heart li uh, lies at this point, you know. And um, I, I feel like Scorpio just wants to be loved, and I feel like Scorpio is going to make a reach out 
no matter what the outcome is at some point, but it's just going to take time. They're going to they just need a lot of time to figure out what what they want to do based on what they want to do, not on what's happening external. Okay, too much information for Scorpio. All right, let's take a look. Sagittarius, if you're connecting with a Sagittarius, Virgo. Okay. Yep, there are you. So Sagittarius definitely has you on their mind. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Um, they w I'm hearing Sagittarius wants to come home. Okay, they're really stressed about some kind of ending. This is very straightforward. Um, Sagittarius wants to come home. And they want to reunite. They want to have that relationship again. They want to commit. They're very, very to like crazy stressed crazy anxious about something that's ended here or about an ending um this sagittarius cannot sleep at night they're having like a hard time they're just in some kind of like extreme stress about something that ended or uh some kind of betrayal um like they're at a complete and painful rock bottom situation right now and all they can think about is the four of wands and you all I can think about is the family, the marriage, the relationship, the commitment, everyone involved, all of everyone that was involved. Um, they feel like they're on the outskirts here. Look in a very dark place right here. And and Virgo also, um, some of you might have um, or might be in another relationship now or you've gotten married or you've committed um, and you're very happy right now and it's killing them. This is very straightforward. They're abs they're absolutely like heartbroken. Yeah, and, and they would love to kind of um, have some kind of reunion, but there might be somebody else in your life, and they know they can't do that. So it's like they're devastated by that. Um, and if you don't have somebody else in your life, um, they're stressing about not having committed to you or not having um, kept the foundation sturdy and strong in the relationship with you. Yeah, this this Sag is like not in a good place. No, 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 no. Not in a good place. Um, possibly even bordering, bordering along the lines of regret. Just complete hit and rock bottom. Okay. All right. Oops. Okay, Capricorn. Oh, oh, I don't like this. The message they're just giving me right here. Oh, no, I'm not happy about this. Okay, but I'm going to give the message anyway. It, it feels like Capricorn is kind of like happy that you, um, They, they think that your world is like falling apart. They're pretty freaking happy about that. That's very vindictive. I feel Capricorn, um, they're, they're watching your world fall apart. <laughs> and they're either happy about it or it's two messages. They're either happy about it. And I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, or they're seeing that. Or they think that you're happy that their world is fall falling apart. I, I don't know if there's paranoia here. Or what's going on with this Capricorn? But, um, oh. You know what, Virgo? I feel like, it, and it's, I don't know if this is a Capricorn trait. I don't think I've ever seen this. Something's going on here. But I feel like Capricorn is looking at you like they ghosted you and they know it's killing you. Or it's just not a good thing, and they they, they want you to come looking looking for them. They want you to be like um, they're watching you. Is what I feel like they're watching you struggle. Um, so if this if, if if you're I don't know how they would be watching you struggle. Maybe they see you online, or maybe you're posting things, and you're posting stuff like a real person wouldn't do this, and then and whatever it is, they're watching it, and they're kind of feeling like it's boosting up their ego a little bit. Look at the smugness. Um, so any kind of um, any kind of fallout from something that has happened in regards to this relationship with this person, I feel like um, they're they're retaining joy and getting an ego boost from your demise. 
that's how I feel. So if you're, even if you're letting them know that you're really hurt or all this stuff is going on, you know, um, it's giving them a, it's giving them an ego boost. Look, there's three of swords. Yeah. It's giving them some kind of an ego boost that, because it, they, they're taking it that like you, um, can't live without them and that you are completely like devastated by them and they, and it makes them feel good. I don't like it. <laughs> But that's what I'm picking up. Even if they're being nice to you and being kind, like somewhere within them, they're kind of like, oh, uh, Virgo's like, even though something's ended here or if something's fallen apart, Virgo's still like, I'm having a an effect on Virgo just by not being there. And they're, they're kind of liking that. I don't know, Virgo, what to tell you about that. I feel like if that's something that you're dealing with, um, it, it's none of their business how they're feeling, how you're feeling in regards to a relationship ending. But anyway, let's move on maybe Capricorn is going to like get some sense why is the tower here again okay Aquarius I hope this isn't going to be the similar message okay um so it looks like Aquarius is um they're looking at you and they think that like you've broken free and you've moved on with your life they're watching you they're watching you that something has ended in with them or maybe some argument or something happened but they see you being just like you know i don't even really care i'm just gonna move on it's not worth it they see that you've left and they they're paying attention and they see that you've moved on after something has ended they're, they're, they see they see it they recognize it um but of course try to get some emotions or feelings of an aquarius is Let's see if we can try how they're feeling about it. Oh, okay. Well, you know, it's still the same story. I mean, I feel like mostly they recognize that you... What the heck's going on here? Hold on, yes. I feel like they've recognized that you, like, made some bold moves. You took some... You made a bold move here, and you ended something with them. They're, like, kind of like, Wow. Uh, that's what I feel like. It's it's kind of like a wow. Virgo really just did that? <clears throat> hmm, okay. Well, Vir you know what, Virgo? If, if this person, if Aquarius didn't think that you meant it, well, they're coming to terms with that. Like, uh, oh, wow. Um, Virgo's not returning. And they want you to, though. They want you to come back. And I feel like they're kind of like, wow, I can't believe Virgo did that. Wow. King of Wands, like bold. Okay, yeah. They're kind of, they're suffering a little bit here. Um, yeah. They want you to come back so that they can um, uh, depend on you or they need you. I don't know, Virgo. I, I mean, you, you obviously, if you've left this relationship, you left for a reason. <clears throat> um, Aquarius just cannot believe that you did you pulled like they're like what like they can't believe that you did what you did like they're struggling <laughs> because of that i will tell you that i will also tell you there's no cup energy here there's no cup okay so as far as their emotions this might be all ego okay there there might be not any emotions i don't i'm not seeing sadness i'm not seeing regret or remorse i'm not seeing happiness i'm seeing like shock like like it's it's like they, they want you to come back um they're like struggling that you you I don't know if you ended something here that it's just done but if you ended it and moved on they can't believe it if you freed yourself they just they're like shocked they're in shock right now they're in shock goodness gracious okay Pisces if you're connecting with a Pisces Virgo connecting with a Pisces Virgo and Pisces. Okay, they see you being very defensive. You're giving a lot of pushback. Oh, okay. Did you ghost them? Or they ghosted you? Um, Virgo, I, I feel like uh, Pisces is kind of looking at you right now. Like, they think, they think that you don't know what you want with them. 
like they, that you're not they see you being non-committal you're pushing back you're like no i'm not i'm not trying to commit like i it looks like maybe you've got other responsibilities or stuff that you're doing right you're pushing back on a relationship on the emotional aspect maybe you don't have time for the relationship right now you you might be in school or you have other things going on they see you that you're you know focusing on other areas of your life the mundane every day you know <laughs> taking out the garbage doing the dishes doing your homework doing what are, what are we in like grade school um working on your thesis getting your master's degree you know um building your business do whatever the things you're doing and and i mean i feel like pisces feels like you don't you like you're just like not right now <laughs> not right now no no you don't want you don't want this relationship okay so you know they're trying to they're trying to um keep their poker poker face they're trying to keep themselves like uh, like it's fine it doesn't bother me the five of cups came out in reverse so i can tell you virgo that um pisces is secretly hiding that they're like on the verge of like complete remorse regret and sadness for something okay something that might have happened um or I know something that happened uh, the relationship falling apart or something not working out like they're on the verge but they're they're keeping it hidden so they get their fo poker face they're not sh why do i want to say poker face they're not showing you uh, they're not revealing full on that they're in the five of cups because they're not fully there yet but they have a lot of they have loss and regret um they they don't feel loved they feel abandoned which you know for whatever reason i don't know what it is but they're not they're not revealing that instead they're just kind of like acting like everything's fine they're handling things great there's no problem um but that's not really the truth because deep inside i just feel like they are they have some regret virgo they're they're, they're having regret and remorse that um either you didn't want them or you don't want them back or you don't like you don't like you're i don't know you're being very they see you being very defensive you know you're either you're, they think you're protecting yourself for, from something um and it, they just feel like you, you you're just ghosting or you just don't want them there's no commitment here they see um maybe you're pushing back or um protecting yourself from a lack of commitment from this person and I mean, I don't know that the, the Pisces is going to come together, but I feel like if there's communication with you or if you talk to them or whatever, um, any kind of interaction with them, they're going to show up with this emperor energy where everything's fine. But deep inside, they're like kind of cresting on the side more of like feeling really emotionally like they're, they're, they're almost about <laughs> to the point where it's upright here. Okay so they're definitely feeling the the pangs of regret and remorse for some kind of some kind of thing okay let's just take a look here so we've gone through all the signs let's just take a look here at you virgo overall going forward for the month of the rest of may let me give this a really good shuffle take a look at Virgo see Virgo's energy for the rest of May okay Virgo's energy for the rest of May what is Virgo what can they expect all right there's a three of Pentacles again so whatever you're working on Virgo at this time in your life um, keep going keep doing that okay some of you might be 36 years of age um, keep doing what you're doing and and virgo i feel like i see you being very generous very giving very hospitable very very fair balanced i mean i f i feel like um you're getting a loan from for school or you're contributing or you're maybe going to a graduation and bringing gift of some sort in may um but as far as like love goes virgo let me see maybe you're um contributing to charity um helping or paying some child support or receiving or helping a child um or a school a school-aged person um it looks at virgo i have to be honest with you like i, 
<laughs> I mean, when am I never? But Virgo, you're all about your money. You're all about your dimes and your coins and uh, your bag, so to speak. Is that the word? Virgo, it looks like you're very focused on helping other people. You look very focused on um, collaborating with people, um, your career, very focused on your, the, the quality you bring to your career, your teamwork, your skills, learning, schooling, um, even the Knight of Pentacles here, you know, um, being very reliable. You're working hard at whatever it is is going on in your life. You're not working on romance, Virgo. It doesn't look like it here uh, to me at all. It doesn't look like you're... I don't know, Virgo, is it kind of like, well, you know, at least with your career and your work, what you put in, you get back out of it. I, I guess that might be your mindset here. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see. Let's take a look at love, though, Virgo. Let's see if we can get anything here for, you know, May. I, I see in May, though, you're very focused on your career and the things that you're doing, okay? Now, you're also being very aggressive, I see some aggression. Well, maybe you're not being aggressive, but I see there's a queen of cups here. All right, here comes all the... <laughs> there's a queen of cups going to be showing up in May. And this queen of cups is looking for you. Okay, now masculine feminine energy, whichever it is. Queen of cups, uh, water sign energy. Okay, uh, they're coming after you. They're looking at, They're looking for you. Uh, I don't know who this person is, okay? Um, because look, Virgo, it feels like in May, you're you're like, no, 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 I got work to do. I, you know, I'm very focused on building and <laughs> creating and, you know, um, uh, building my life exponentially in many ways and, you know, um, focusing on my, my work and my health and my career and like all these other things. But there is somebody here, this Queen of Cups, very emotional and um, very focused on their feelings right now and there's something to do i can't not see the seven of pen uh, the seven of cups as uh anything other than a card of someone who's ghosted i just can't you know and and there's an intrigue here that there is a, a water sign that has about you there's like a deep intrigue so i don't know who this person is to you whether it's romantic friendship uh, whichever but i feel like their energy with this knight of swords is someone who's coming in to, to, to like they're making some kind of lifestyle change and uh they're they're being very aggressive even to communicate with you about this okay i don't know how this is going to resonate sometimes i don't know if i'm connecting at all but maybe you understand what this is about let me say oh gosh page of swords Two of Wands. Oh my goodness. Oh, this person is so curious. They're showing up here so curious about what you're up to. Like, why are you so intriguing to this person? Did you go somebody? Did you walk away from somebody? Did you just disappear off the face of the earth? Wow, Virgo. So as far as love goes, uh, I don't know. I, I just kind of feel like you've got somebody here who's coming in to make some kind of change. They want to change the dynamic of this relationship. Um, if they were non-committal, they're coming in, they're watching, they're curious, they want to talk to you um, with that page. Um, there, it might even, like I kind of said for one of the signs, there was someone spying on another on a Virgo, um, very curious about you. And uh, yeah, th this is definitely, uh, this person here is coming in with this decision. They've made a decision. They're standing at the crossroad. They've made a decision to make things right with you. They want to make things right with you in May. I'm definitely going to tell you, expect some kind of communication, possibly from a water sign. It could be from a Libra, but in general, from somebody coming through here who um, they're standing there, they're like ready. They got the world in their hands and they want to give you the world, you know, and do right by you, you know, a win-win kind of situation here with the justice card. And the justice card is kind of like karma, you know karmic justice so i feel like somebody here it could be a water sign who's getting or you know like a libra getting their karma and it's like whoops i'm just hearing somebody saying oops yikes oops and yikes somebody made a bad decision 
in the past or at least maybe by you oh there's definitely communication this person um virgo kind of holds you up on this like pedestal here i mean they are like so ready there's so much movement here the knight of swords the two of wands the six of swords this is all about movement and like taking i, I don't want to say taking a risk but their idea and their plan is to um come out of their comfort zone they, this person has been in a stuck in a comfort zone for a long time and uh you know closed mouths don't get fed and i feel like that's what's going on with this person here kept your mouth closed long enough you don't get that nourishment you need you know don't receive and uh yeah definitely trying to make a heartbreak recover a loss um there's some uh, maybe some kind of argument or um a divorce or a separation um, some kind of loss uh, this person is dealing with some depression heartbreak uh, i feel like they want to um or they cause that to you and um whichever and they're not really giving me this fully but i do feel like this person wants to change all that come in and recover the losses is what i'm hearing and, and in order to do this they have to make some kind of lifestyle change and they know it and they realize it so i feel like even with this queen of cups here um, they've kept a lid on their feelings and their emotions for a very long time, maybe even hid them. Look at the lid, covering the cup. Angels on each side. This person, like, I feel like they see you as a blessing. We got cherub down here. Virgo, I mean, I don't know how much of this is going to be. Uh, look at the seashell there. there. There was just an energy. This person clammed up their feelings. But I, but I feel like this person is a very nurturing, supportive person, but did not really share the depth of their emotion. Maybe not, weren't even aware of it themselves. Okay, so I definitely feel like this person is um, going to come in, right? But I mean, Virgo, I mean, you look to me like, it looks to me here like you are really focused on your 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 life you're you're grounded in reality here i don't know virgo i don't i don't like i said I, you'll have to go back and listen to your sign because it may not be for you but it, as far as you go i mean i feel like for you you're definitely also in this position of making a lifestyle change for yourself and seeing what else is out there um if there's any other um, opportunities for love in your life, I, f I definitely feel like you're making some changes here in your life and getting real with how you feel. And, and I do feel like you are keeping your eyes open. You know, um, I do feel like for some of you also that um, you, you're, you have your ideals when it comes to love and, and relationships, but you... Um, you're looking at you're being very grounded you're looking at you, relationships to you are people that you connect with they got to come real they got to come correct they got to it's got to be a tangible thing none of this um fantasy stuff i mean you're definitely keeping it real for yourself what you want not staying in the you know this is kind of like rose colored glasses you know when you meet somebody and everybody we act like it's like puppy love and teenagers and all that kind of stuff and it's it's cute and it, it, it but it wears off like a drug after a while and then we get back down to reality i feel like <clears throat> <clears throat> you're you're kind of like focusing like yeah i already know that that's going to happen and i'm not going to let get myself get too carried away with that and try to keep it real and keep myself grounded okay so i i definitely feel like um maybe you've had a divorce or some kind of breakup or separation and and you're really like looking at your relationships with a more um i guess i want to say like you don't have the rose colored glass you're seeing things for what they really are going forward in your life but it feels like mostly at this time you're just trying to <laughs> you're just so grounded virgo <laughs> you're just trying to like slow and steady wins the race here i'm just going to keep contributing to what i'm learning and to what i'm building and to what i'm doing i'm just going to keep uh making the offers and i know they will come back to me at some point it, it is like you know giving and receiving so i feel like you're you're very focused on you're just your every day you know you're walking down the street you're you're um you know you see a homeless person you're buying them a cup of coffee you're you're, you're doing things you maybe you're helping you work in a school you're helping children or you're helping you know like you're you're being very uh, like you're making your offerings in the real world you're not giving yourself to fantasies or 
uh, things that are up in the cloud or these crazy hopes and wishes and dreams you're staying very grounded you're you're back here on the ground if 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 you've you may have always been on the ground you're not living in like this hopeless dreamy kind of thing here and i don't know why um um, I, I don't often think that that's a Virgo trait, to be honest with you. I, I, I honestly feel like Virgos are very like, what are you talking about? Like, just don't you see what's going on around you? <laughs> you know, but I, I kind of feel like you're very down to terra firma here, and that's good. You're keeping things real with yourself. So, all right, I'm going to leave that there for you, Virgo. Hope you enjoyed that. That was a little bonus reading for Friday. I did say it was going to be on Saturday, but I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to have to wait and see because I don't want to like... Um, I don't want to bombard you guys with too many readings. That might be way too much. But um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. And I will see you back here definitely Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern for the live stream. Pop in, become a member of my channel, and you can get some free readings. 33 cents a day for that membership. Um, and then I will see you back here Sunday night. All right, Virgo, bye.